Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus video tutorial. I'm Adi and today we'll be talking about sign-in and registration forms. Now, we deal with web forms very often. When we log into YouTube, Facebook, um, or we sign up for a web service, we gotta get through a form. Very often though, this can be quite difficult because some forms are just way too long or way too cluttered. Uh, today we'll have a look at a very simple but effective form. We'll be designing it in Photoshop, then code it in HTML CSS, apply some cool jQuery effects, and finally we'll be doing a CSS inline validation. Before we begin though, I'd like to talk a bit about one-page versus multi-page forms. Now, according to a survey done by Smashing Magazine on web forms design patterns, 93% of the forms turn out to be one-page forms. That means you have both sign-in and sign-up forms in the same page, as you can see here. And this is very interesting because from our perspective as web designers, it means that we want to get the user through the whole process very quickly and painlessly without having to bother about additional pages. In our case, we'll make a compromise between these two and we're gonna be creating some JavaScript powered tabs. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, start by creating a new document. That's gonna be 1000 by 1000, white background, and let's call this forms. Right, our uh, form is gonna be 850 pixels in width. So let's grab the round rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, and make a, a rectangle of 850. Something like that. Let's fill it with white and create a stroke that's one pixel and the color is going to be D7, DA, DF, a very light grayish color. Uh, align it. Let's zoom in here. Okay. And let's go ahead and save it as forms PSD. Next, uh, we got to set the background for the tabs. So call this base, create a new group call it tabs, create a new layer, quick shortcut, if you want to create a new layer, command, shift, and N. Uh, call this tab base. And for tab base, we're going to make a selection, uh, command left click on this vector icon right here, layer, uh, sorry, select, modify, contract, by one pixel and simply fill it with the background color. Uh, now obviously we don't need it to be this big so simply select something like this, click on delete and the resulting um, shape, sorry, the resulting shape is 91 pixel in height which is uh, pretty good for now we're going to set the, width, the height from CSS anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, next, let's grab some icons to create the two icons for the tabs. So first, uh, for the first one, for the sign-in, uh, I'm going to grab a lock icon from 30 free vector icons. Uh, it's a free icon set. You can find the link to it in uh, in the tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to grab the lock icon, click on auto select layer, grab this, okay, and duplicate it in forms PSD. All right. Now, obviously, this one has a bunch of styles applied to it, but we don't want any of those. So clear layer style and fill it with the background color. Now 
grab the ellipse tool, make an ellipse that's 35 by 35, something like this, fill it with white, let's call it base. And let's align these two. Make this uh, a lot smaller, something like this. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and align these. Okay. Now, because our background is going to change, we can actually have uh, two images um, because it's just too much of a hassle. So instead, we're going to create an image that has the lock bit transparent. So to do that, uh, command and left click the vector mask for base and then subtract the selection from the lock icon like this and you can subtract by uh, holding the alt key so with that selection made click on mask and now we can get rid of this there you go so now even if you change the color of the tab base uh, you'll still get the color uh, behind it to bleed through and that's what we want so with that out of the way, let's input some text and we're going to say already a member. Sign in below. Now, obviously, this is a placeholder text. You can uh, replace this with anything you like. And the font family is going to be Helvetica. We're going to be using that all over the place. Uh, the font size for this is 12 pixels. We're going to give it a color of 8C, 8E, uh, 95, a very light gray. And this one, 18 pixels white. So let's align it. Move it to the right by about 15 pixels and grab these and move them all together and let's leave a gap of about 25 pixels like this okay maybe a bit more to the left something like this all right next uh, this is the sign in tab let's duplicate it and create the sign up tab. Now sign up text should be something like don't have an account yet create one now or something like this. Uh, obviously we don't have a lock on this one so delete layer mask let's use a plus instead uh, the plus sign. So with the text tool uh, make a plus like this. Font is going to be Arial Black, anti-alias, uh, anti-alias set to none and make the font about 36. Ooh, that's a bit too much. Maybe th something like this. Let's see if it matches our lock here. Yep, that's pretty good. So, a quick alignment. Okay, pretty happy with that. Do the same. Mask base. Delete this one. And now you have the, uh, the, the icon as well. Next thing that we need to do here is the background for um, this tab. And because this is going to be an active tab, 
an inactive tab, sorry, so it's going to be a tab um, on which you can click. We need to give it a, a background that stands out, so I'm going to go with a blue color. Uh, create a new layer, call it Tab Base. Okay, make a selection, something like this, and fill it with any color, and then go to Layer Style and apply a gradient overlay. And that gradient is going to, is going from 38 ADFO to the second color, which is 6B C7FC. Also set the angle to zero, so it goes from uh, left to right. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color of this text to uh, a dark blue, 14567D. And that's a very cool blue that contrasts well with the background. Uh, next step, select, uh, select Tab Base and click on Mask so we can get rid of that excess. And let's see what else. We can add uh, a light shade, a light shadow actually here on the left and a very light border to make it, uh, to, to give it more depth. So let's zoom in here so we can actually see the, um, what we're doing. Select uh, a very thin line like this, one pixel wide and create a new layer, call it border, and that's gonna be filled with a very light blue, something like this, 88D1FA. There we go. Oops. And the last thing that we need to do on this uh, inactive tab is to create that shadow I was talking about. So, uh, zoom in here a bit. Let's make a selection, something like something like this. Create a new layer, call it Shade Left or Shadow Left. Grab the uh, gradient tool by pressing G. Select this black to white gradient and go like this from left to right. Okay. Now go the, uh, up here and change the blend mode to multiply. And uh, multiply actually uh, trans turns the white parts into transparent um, for, um, uh, I mean, opposite to screen, which does the other thing. So screen transforms black to transparent and multiply transforms white to transparent and that's a very cool thing if you want to do a quick uh, gradient without actually modifying the color behind it. So now just lower the opacity to about 25 percent so it looks something like this. Now uh, notice what happens if uh, you change the color behind it Let's change a different color gradient, say this green. You see the shade remains and it looks very well. Um, so that's a very good uh, way to create multiple color buttons if you want. You just uh, create a gradient overlay, set the blend mode to, um, to overlay, uh, to, um, to multiply and just change a base color. That's just a, a quick tip. Okay, a couple of things that we need to do here. Let's move this 25 pixels. Okay, now let's move it to the right. So the whole sign up tab. Let's move it to the right to something like this. And let's get rid of that excess by going to tab base and masking it. Oops, sorry. 
it seems I already have a mask here so I'm just gonna delete this one and do the masking again and there you go uh, that is the tab so the idea is when you click on this tab it moves to the left becomes the active tab and the sign up form is shown below and the same thing happens here I'll just show you that when we get to the uh, to the forms part uh, two more things that we need to do here and we are done with the tabs first let's create a, um, a light gradient on the top here just add a bit of depth and the second one is going to be an active arrow for the tab so create a new layer call it top gradient and make a selection something like this doesn't have to be perfect grab the gradient tool again black to white and make sure that you leave a one pixel gap between the top background and the gradient uh, and I'm gonna link you to a very cool article about how to use one pixel lines uh, one pixel gaps to add depth to your designs it's a very cool article and a very good technique so this is obviously way too uh, too dark so let's lower the opacity to about 15% maybe maybe less about 10% and let's, uh, let's mask that as well and I think this is a bit too big so I'm just gonna change its size like this alright that looks good enough last step grab the rectangle tool quickly draw a rectangle like this rotate it 90 degrees and let's call it active tab arrow and let's move it up till it's aligned with the icon right here and we get something like this Let's ma mm, hold on a sec. Sorry. Let's select this bit right here and mask it. There we go. And that is how our tabs look like. Now, obviously, this uh, when we get to the coding part, most of it will be done from CSS including uh, gradients um, including these gradients right here the only images that we're gonna grab are gonna be these icons this this and the little arrow the rest of it pure CSS okay so tabs done let's move on to the sign in form 